I'm Eric Guerra, candidate for State Assembly in the new Assembly District 10. If the voters uh, elect me, my big three priorities are going to be working on education and workforce, making sure that our future and our kids have an, an opportunity to a, a good public education, and also to make sure that we don't give up on our parents and folks who may not want to pursue a four-year degree. We're looking at career tech education, and we're looking at apprenticeship programs, and even like, such as my mother who at the age of 50 uh, followed me to, to Sac State and got a GED uh, and an AA degree at the age of 50. Uh, we can't give up on anyone at any point of their life. That's why workforce education is critical. The second piece is jobs in our economy. It, if we are not looking at growing our regional economy and making sure that we have local opportunities for folks to stay in their own community and not be displaced, then, uh, then we're missing the connection with our education. And most importantly, when we're talking about our economy and our local jobs, is making sure that those are from our local community as well, that are owned by small businesses, and making sure that our procurement practices at the state level uh, are hiring and recruiting our small, local, and minority-owned businesses. And then finally, ensuring that access to health is available for all, particularly from zero to five. If you think about uh, kids zero to three, 80 percent of their brain development happens at that time. And then from zero to five, by five, 90 percent of a kid's brain development occurs. The lack of early childhood education and child care is affecting so many communities in South Sacramento because our kids aren't even ready for kindergarten since they haven't been exposed to the, the skills that they need for that level of activity when they come to school. I think if we focus on building up our community by education and workforce, our jobs and our economy, and making sure that we have good public health, we're going to thrive not only as a region here, but as a state. As a state assembly member, if I'm elected, uh, I would definitely, one, as a state representative, making sure that our state of California is fighting for global competitiveness, to make sure that we maintain a strong economy for our state. But as a local elected, I want to make sure that we also maintain our, our local regional economy and focusing on our manufacturing in the region. We have a huge asset in the life sciences, the fact that we have UC Davis Health here, Kaiser, Dignity, and Sutter, and all of the people that work in those in, uh, entities. We have an opportunity to create a biotech and life science corridor here that can employ many of our local folks. Though what I would make sure that we do is that we're look at, look, focusing on hiring our local community and starting early that our young kids can see themselves in the, both the manufacturing and the life sciences. Uh, I do think that uh, having had an engineering degree, that getting a job in the STEM fields or in those careers is life changing. And there is such a, uh, a supply chain trickle effect that's beneficial when we look at manufacturing as well. All of the construction trades jobs, all of the work that we need for welders and plumbers and people who uh, make a good salary, good retirement, uh, and good health benefits. The difference is, is I would be looking at it as a strategy to maintain our regional economy as part of our state economy. One of the beautiful things about Assembly District 10 is its diversity and how rich it has it, it has here. And many of our black communities in this region, not just in the city of Sacramento, but in the region, have been impacted by the lack of funding for services in infrastructure, in our communities, in our schools. The fact that I have the uh, experience at the state level, at the county level, and at the local level, and also know what it's like to grow up in poverty, what it's like to uh, have uh, uh, poor housing, what it's like to live in a, a sense of insecurity, uh, and also the opportunity of being able to join the middle class. Those challenges are still affecting many black and brown communities in our area. And the fact is that our communities side by side are very intermixed. And I think that that is a strength that we need to focus on. But if we don't focus on the success of our black youth, then every other part of our system will fail because we're only strong as, as good as our, our community is strong.